Right, folks. Now, my camera's on the piss. There we go. Um, right, folks. Um, as you have probably known from the last few weeks, I have a deal with Beerhawk. And um, use the code BVM10. You get her all bottles and cans delivered to your house with 10% off the price. Um, fortunately for me, um, I have been sent a perfect draft machine that's over there and um, I thought what I'd do is I would cook something nice quick and easy and this is something that I used to eat years and years ago and then I thought I could cook something nice and easy and then have a pint with the beer hawk that I have in there at the moment I've got the Peaky Blinders uh, Pale Ale um, it's very nice it's got a bit of citrus, and I'm not keen on the citrus stuff, but I think because the temperature of the, cit uh, the beer is perfectly chilled, perfectly chilled, um, it, it just brings out the flavour more of the beer. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, folks, as you've probably seen from the title, I am going to do streaky bacon and maple syrup. I'm also going to do streaky bacon and Jack Daniels barbecue glaze sweet smoke, smoky sweet even. Uh, it's made with the authentic Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskey. Um, so what it is, folks... You get these, you get these streaky bits of, ba bits of streaky bacon, right? And um, when I used to do it years ago, I only used to use um, like a maple syrup, right? So I've got, we've got the dog down there. And um, we, uh, we just used to use the maple syrup. I'd come home, I'd set it all up in the fridge, and then I'd come home from the pub and I'd just whack it in the oven bang the temperature right up. If I didn't get a Chinese or chips or Indian or pizza or kebab or anything like that, I would, um, or I'd, perhaps I would just didn't fancy it that night, I would just put it on the, um, what, see, what you do is you get your, your cooling baking tray. You get your, you, the wife uses that to put her baking cakes on and then she lets them cool. Well, I'm gonna stick my bacon on it. I'm gonna put my meat on her tray and that'll be it. And then you glaze it, and I put it in the fridge, and um, then when we come back from the pub, I would whack it in the oven, and just let it crisp up after I've put the stuff on it. Um, it's really good, it's really easy, and it's perfect. Now with the situation of the world, um, obviously we're not going out for a month now, probably a bit, a bit longer, um, you know how it goes. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is show you how to do it, and then you can have a pint afterwards. Um, right. Get your bacon, tray thing, get your streaky bacon. Now, I'm, I'm being stupid here because I thought, oh, I'll get 10 slices on easy, but I don't think I will. So, but we'll go for it. We'll go for it, won't we? Let me put the camera down a bit towards, there you go. Look at that. For the visually impaired, I have actually put the camera down towards the tray that I'm putting it on. So, uh, if you put it on this, it gets it cooked nice and evenly around the bacon, yeah, there you go. So, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna just put a few here. How's the camera looking, folks? I ain't gonna have enough, am I? I ain't gonna have enough room. All right, well, I'll just do four of each and leave them two there, and then I can do them later on. Right, just gonna wash my hands, folks, because, um... Well, you just do, don't you? Um, I think it ain't too bad if you're picking up beef. Um, I mean, you can basically eat beef raw, can't you, folks? You know what I mean? You can eat beef raw, because it's like when you have it cooked, you can have it medium rare and all that. Uh, so what you do is, I am using the Clark's why doesn't that focus? Does it do? Will it focus if I do this? Oh, look at that, Clark's. So what you do? You put a bit in a bowl, like that, just a bit in a bowl, and then you can glaze the bacon, right? Just glaze it. Now, when I used to go out, I used to do this before I went out. I feel like bloody Jamie Oliver, or Nigella. Obviously without the uh, stuff 
that she, uh, I'm glad she, see that picture when her husband got around the throat, paper, fucking shocking. So, I'll do just a bit more on here, yeah, and just on this first one, I'll do it on this first one, then I've got four left for the Tennessee. Tennessee! Right, okay, right. So, now, I'm just going to go and rinse my brush. Rinse my brush. There you go, my brush has been rinsed. What are you doing? He's chewing his bone. He's chewing his bone, you know. Right. So the other four I'm going to do is with this. Uh, let's just see if it comes in like that. There you go. Look at. Is it going to do it? Anyway. Oh come on. What happens if I turn that? Oh look at that. Turn that and it zoomed in. Oh look at that. I'm a. I'm a. I'm a fucking expert. So this is the Jack Daniels barbecue glaze. Ooh, smells not. Ooh, fuck me. That, what the fuck is that? That's a bit thick. Right. Oh, God, it's like treacly syrupy stuff. For the visually impaired, it's like treacly syrupy stuff. Right, so what I'm going to do, as you can see, I'm going to put a bit on there as well. Smells a bit like hosting sauce. So I've got the bacon from the Costi Cutters in Salby. There we go. For the visually impaired, I'm still um, coating my meat with uh, my juices. And this, I tell you what folks, this will be brilliant. A pint of, uh, a pint of Peaky Blinders Pale Ale and this will go down a complete treat. Right folks, so what I'm gonna do now, the oven is already preheated. Wash that off my hands, got a bit of goo on my hands. So, so I've got to remember, how can I do that? How can I remember this? Uh, fuck me, got a fucking air there. Bloody hell. Right, um, I need to remember this. I'll tell you what, I'll chuck that there like that, and that's it. Right, folks, so what I'm now going to do. I'm now going to put this in the oven. I've got it, I've got the heat right up. Right up, but I'm going to lower it down to 200 degrees. Right, hold on. Ha! You were expecting me there then, weren't you? So, I'll turn my camera around this way. So, uh, that's at 200 degrees. What's that fucking dog doing? Oh, he's got his rabbit. Um, and there it is, folks. There's the bacon cooking away. Um, I'm going to set this for... I'll set this for about 10 minutes, and then what I'll do is I'll show you what I'll do. All right, ladies. Right, folks, so the alarm has just gone off on the oven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip that down so I can see what I'm doing. Well, that weren't very good, were it? Really do me camera in. Right, so this is the bacon coming out now, folks. Always best to use a, uh, hold on, I want to put that down there. Right. I will be bringing the, uh, Right, 
So there's the bacon cooking. I think what I'm gonna do, folks, is I'm gonna put that in for a little bit longer because I don't, it's not crisping up enough as I want it to do, you know what I mean? So, but what I will do, while it's out, put a bit more of this on. You can never get enough of this stuff on. Okay? What I'm going to do here with this one, oh, get out of the way, you stupid dog. Under my bloody feet. What I'll do here, I'll just drape that on. Yeah. So, I'm going to back, whack this back in. I'm going to whack my meat. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can't pick it up. June will be moaning, look, she's seen that. Right, it's on the tea tap. Right, so this is going back in the oven. for another five minutes. Timer, one, two, three, four, five, and we're rolling. I'll be back. Right, folks, back again. So, this is it now. Let's have a, they've been in for another five minutes. Let's have a butchers. A butchers as how they're getting on. Oh, now we're looking. Now we are cooking, folks. Look at that. Right, so. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put the camera there. I can nearly drop my bastard camera then, you know. Take the bacon out. Look at that. Right, so, what you do is, you then turn the bacon over. Now, I've had a mare because I can't fucking remember. That was, just, that was the maple syrup one, weren't it? That one there. So, turn that on, eh? Do you know what? I think you're getting the idea of it anyway, ain't you? Is it still on? Still recording. Alright, so, turn that over. So, Bit more whiskey in the bowl. What did fucking thin Lizzie think? Whiskey in the bottle work, whiskey. Whiskey in a jar. Something like that. He were good he were, weren't he, old Johnny? Uh not John Lyon, they were bloody sex pistol. So just put a bit more on here folks. Don't be tight. Yeah, don't be tight with it. Don't be tight with it at all. Just give it a nice coating. So I've never, I've not used this uh, whiskey one before, but uh, let's see what it's like. Don't be tight, folks. Whack it on. It's what you want. Just whack it on. Let me just uh, wash that one a bit to. Uh, to get the. Uh, Dogs are okay. Bit of kitchen roll to dry the brush. Right, just dribble a bit of this on here again. Look at that. So I should have done it in the first place. I was trying to be too dealier. Right, I'm going to put this back in the oven. I'm going to put it back in for another five minutes or so. I'll have a look and we'll go from there. Do 
Yeah, we'll uh, have a look from there in a bit. Oh, wrong side. All right, later. Right, folks, so this is it. The bacon is cooked. I'm going to serve it out over here because it's a damn sight easier than fannying around over there. And hopefully then I'm going to have a bit of bacon with a pint out of my perfect draft machine from Beer Hawk, not forgetting to use the code BVM10 for all drinks and bottles and cans. Sorry, bottles and cans. The draft machine and the kegs are not included because they're already heavily discounted for Christmas. But um, yes, bottles and cans, use the code BVM10. Right, off to get me bacon out. Look at that. Oh, that's fucking hot. Just come out the oven, as my granny would have said. Of course it is, but she wouldn't have said. She wouldn't have agreed with the swearing. There we have it, folks. Look at that. Where's my fucking tongs? Right. So. I think this is the Jack Daniels one, isn't it? Now, you can either leave them in a bit longer and make them really dead, dead crispy, or not as in as long and as brown as this, but it's your own individual taste. It's your own little bit of, you know, it's what you want. I'm not here to tell you. Unbelievable. How are you, lover? You're on your way, so I'm just doing a video, so uh, you're on the video, sweetheart. All right, babe, bye. bye. Sorry, folks, that was uh, Julie, baby. She's on her way home. Right, so let's get rid of the, uh, the tray. Just whack that back in the oven, that'll uh, upset June. I said I haven't washed it, but I've oh, got the bloody dogs there again. Right then, folks, so all I'm going to do now is reach over and put a drink in from the uh, perfect draft. Now then, now then, sausage. That is perfect for sitting there watching a Poirot on ITV3. Or uh, anything else you want to watch. Bit of football, pint, bit of streaky bacon that's been... Uh, that's, uh, oh, there you are. You're back up. Oh, you're on the piss again. Why does that do that? Bloody Amazon, bloody camera stand. Ooh, a bit of a dance there, weren't there? There we go, level with the pictures at the top there. Uh, so this is it, folks. Pint of, uh, well, not nearly a pint, but a pint of uh, Peaky Blinders Ale from... Oh, Beer Hawk. And some bacon. Now, this is going to be fucking hot. All right, let's try it. Mm. Oh my god. That is absolutely maple syrup and bacon. I don't really thought of it. It's the sweet and the salt. Mmm. Now, I'm going to try Jack. That is a bit like hosting sauce on bacon. I prefer the maple syrup. Mm. 
Oh. I could make myself really bad on this. I know these perfect draft machines, right? You, get, you use the BBM Co uh, and it won't work on them. But if you've got a husband or a brother or a father or whoever in your family who likes a drink like that, you've got to have one. They're absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You can sit there, Boxing Day, with your perfect draft. Obviously, don't forget to get the kegs, right? You ain't going to be doing nothing else. Pint of beer, streaky bacon covered in maple syrup. <laughs> I feel like going like Alan Partridge and going, ha ha! Is this making you want bacon? Is this making you want streaky bacon with maple syrup? I, I, for your first one, for your first one, just go for the maple syrup and then try and find your own. I'm going to leave that one there after I've had another bite. Please go and have a look at beer or I'm not forcing you to buy anything, I wouldn't dare dream of that. But if you don't have a look, it's your loss because you really are missing out, and especially if you're using the code BBM10 and get the 10% off of all deliveries of cans and uh, bottles delivered to your house. You're missing out. All right, folks, do you want to see the draft machine? Look at it. Bloody brilliant. Laters. <laughs>